Welcome to Maz Garage. I'm Smokey. I'm Kev. And I'm Crick. And this week, we are going to talk about community. Well, I, I think I can, so I'm going to try. Should we not even attempt this at this point? That's just kind of making it sound like if you were just never told to pay attention to color, would you notice color? Have you guys ever read the book The Giver or seen the movie? Is that the one with the color where they can't see color? Yeah. Yes, I had to read that book in high school. That they whole had, like, thing's based on like a very controlled community. I believe I had to read it in college, but I can't remember 100%. Well, it might have well, been high school. What was the premise? Only like a few people could see colors. There's only one apples. person. Only one person. The okay. Giver could see colors. The Giver yes. would have like the knowledge of everything. And everybody else saw him black and white and everybody else was designated like, this is your job. This is what you do. This is what you have to do now. This is how you give to your community. And, and the giver was the one who told them all that? Well, the giver, because they were even doing that with like babies, like babies were born and it was almost like they were just demanded to have a certain job. Certain mothers were dictated to give birth and being a giver you know that that's not the only way you know what there was before all this was like uh, this okay. so he grabbed a baby and ran said no and then yeah. found out it was well, i don't want to give it away but there's a whole big world out there wasn't there something to do with an apple in that that was like the first thing tree? i think he could see the color yeah it was yeah. an apple or something yeah because yeah. i remember that when you said that he said what's wrong with that apple well, that's called red. It's the color. <laughs> oh, that is weird. Like, if you were just never told to pay attention to color, would you notice color? Would you differentiate color? Like, that's where, like, even in other countries, they don't have, I guess it's getting better now, but certain countries didn't have different colors for different names for different colors. So, what we might like, I think there was one who red and orange was the same color. So, there wasn't no term for red and a different term for orange, everything was this red-orange. Any kind of scale of red-orange, it was always red-orange. You hmm. know what I mean? So if like you gave people no definition of color, are they going to differentiate even less? Where it's like, well, I think, oh, and, color. <laughs> at that, it comes down to how the community dictates what it is that is being given that color. Right. right. Or do they, um, do they break it down like people do with pop? where it's by brand name or right that's that's not the color orange it isn't orange and that's not a red apple it's just an apple right well in and the a green apple too, is something else they call all soda coke coke yeah it's all coke no it's not but it's all coke it's, it's all coke, right. coke. yeah like, I'll, 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 have, I'll have a coke what kind <laughs> a a coke coke. <laughs> <laughs> i want a cokey coke <laughs> One of the originals like and then yeah, think about that think about the different places that call it soda that's what i, I don't know <laughs> does I, anybody I, call it soda anymore i don't know Do i really feel like i started doing of, it like four like or five it, years it, ago and i it was just pop. always do now it was pop growing up but then you you start going you start learning different areas that it, they referred to it as soda and then you're going to start referring to it as soda because you start because you were always referring to it as pop growing up. So now right. you're going to choose to do something different. That brings me back to the giving tree a little bit because like, what if just like the limitation they're putting on the ability to see color or the ability to differentiate that? I wonder how much limitations we put on the intelligence that we can have as a community because of the organization that we hold you know what i mean like i feel like there's not as much of a limit anymore there definitely used to be but and it kind of goes back to like the conversation that we were having the other day about how like government wants to be that controlling authority that they're the ones that essentially put the limitations on we can't have anyone achieving to this level because then they're going to start combating what we're trying to accomplish and I prior feel like to that nowadays, it was like religion right 
Yes. Nowadays, especially on social media, you see so many videos of, let me teach you how to do this. Let me teach you how to do that. So, and that's what kind of gives us our anxiety is like someone that's like sitting and not really doing anything. If they were to know that there's like 17 different things that they could learn different ways of how to do different things that they could do with their time, it just completely overwhelms them because they don't know where to start. Right. Yeah. And like your community is not just directing you to like, you know, pop out some kids, find a long-term job, settle down. Do, like, I don't know. That's what I feel like it's pitched to us. Like when we were going to like school at the end like, of the day, that'll always be the status quo. But then you've got a lot of people that are going against status status quo, or you've got even people that are going above and beyond the status quo. And they're popping out like six and seven kids collecting child support and investing that money. That's where I feel like that status quo is the limitation. That I that ideals that we set for each that Blake and ideal that we set for individuals to have, you know what I mean, or like question when like when someone decides to pursue like being a rock star or a comedian or everything like that, like I feel like it's getting better, but it's generalized looked on like all right, good luck. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there's well, not be, a lot of because not every it's not something that just anyone can do. And that's why a lot of people say, hey, good, good luck to you. Because if you have the grit, you have the grind, and you have the work ethic, and then 20 years in the future, you are attaining what you have been working towards, as opposed to someone that, hey, good luck to you. But then they see that they didn't, they, they, they see that they don't have that support in the beginning. So they never even try because they just take that as no one supports me. Right. That's where I feel like you need to be a little bit supportive like that as a community. I feel like you don't have to be. And yeah, people should be their own motivators and be able to just grind through. But if we supported each other once in a while and you know what I mean? Like there should like be- even today I was like sketching at, at, at the dinner table and just the waiter was like, Hey man, I like your sketches just out of nowhere. That felt really good. No reason he had to say that nothing at all. Like it just, but it that just, felt it's just good. giving someone just a little piece of acknowledgement of what they're doing. Right. Right. Like taking that oh, about how you day. come off and say it right you're right <sighs> right we as soon as Smokey started talking i was thinking about that day that you me and zach went to that mountain to climb it and we were at the base of the mountain this dude came down with the kid said you guys are just now starting to go up dude that <laughs> sat in my head so hard like, like should we not even attempt this at this point that's what you're kind of making it sound like right We kind of had the similar when we were hiking um, Pitcher Rock. Like, of course, time was a factor and the weather was a factor. But we started a little bit late and we hiked and we got a little ways. But then as soon as we saw the weather was changing, we looked and we saw that rain was on the way. We're like, we got to go back because we don't want to be all the way even further out here when the rain hits. And then we have to walk even further back through all the rain right so the time that we decided to turn around and walk all the way back the distance that we just walked and then we got to the cars and as soon as we started leaving in the cars the rain started to fall see this was a false canary though because zach made it all the way up the mountain back down like even with this guy's warning like that he did trying to be nice like zach made it all the way up and down that mountain you know what I mean? Like he was able to do it with the time limitations without the sun going down. Like, you know what I mean? So the guy was trying to be nice, but at least for me, I let it get in my head. Like, yeah. like you know, like, I what wish did I we just get I ourselves guess, into? Yeah. You also have to, thing. you have to look at it as how long someone else may take that. If you're younger than them and you have a little bit more energy than they do, that you won't be taking as many stops. Right. This kind of and looked that, pretty fit. Well, and that's the thing too, is like, I tried to, you know what I mean? Take whatever he said out of my mind, whatever I'm in my own situation, but it's, it's just like, it's, it goes back to that tribe mentality. You know what I mean? Like we're watching out for each other. So if someone gives you a warning, they gave you that warning for a reason. So you're going to think about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just, it's like, it's back to that animalistic mentality a little bit. Like, or you have someone that manipulates other people with that, with that, with that mentality, right? Like goes and says, ends. goes and says something to someone just to like get stir a reaction. 
Well, and that's where oh, one of my buddies said that his old manager used to do that in a different kind of way. He would say stuff like, man, no one can do that in under 10 minutes. No one could ever finish that in under 10 minutes. Like that's just too much work to get done in 10 minutes. That's a chat. They would, he would challenge. Yeah. And so he's like, that got me every single time because yeah, like it was just, oh, I can, I bet you I can. Like, mm-hmm. instead of well, like, stupid. because there's, there's no way that because, takes that long. I can do right, it. Because right. as soon as you hear someone naysaying your ability, let me show you my ability. No one, I mean, no one could get laid wearing these. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Right, right. And that's where it's different too. Because if he said, you could never do that in 10 minutes compared to no one could ever do this in 10 minutes. This is an un- imaginal that's human an attack feat. on your character right, Fine, right. I want then. yep right. no one and no, that's no, like, no one well okay i'm gonna be the one and i'm gonna show you real quick right and that's and I maybe I that's ego or something make myself too. look dumb <laughs> right it absolutely i think it is like a level of like a person it, it is a level a, a self ego factor that it's like you are essentially being like even though it's not, it's meant to be a challenge. On paper, it's not a challenge. He's just stating, they, they are just stating a fact. Right. No one can do this in this time. You see that and you're like, well, I, I think I can. So I'm going to try. Right. And if I can, then I'm going to told you so to that person. Right. Like, look what so I then you have did. like you a sense no of pride. It. You're like, I can't wait to tell you so to that person but then they're always right so you can you never can achieve it in that time period so you never do get that self of told you so or if you do you just did the work for them which right. is too. or yeah or they, they just smile and they're like hey good job it's, yes. it's also a, they're, like, they're like they're like next time shoot for nine next time shoot for eight next time shoot for seven it's also like a risk f- risk-free adventure at that point because if no one can do that in that time even if you fail no one could have done that you know what i mean so a little like, bit, precedent's yeah. already been set i just want right. to prove it wrong for my own person i want to prove that's, it wrong. that's kind so of the way like, that i like to look at things like well i'm gonna try and if i failed then okay i'm gonna learn from the experience and then maybe i'll try again <laughs> i'm not that always that accepting of my failures i wish i could be sometimes it's like i don't know I've asked my friend asked me the same thing is like, why are you so, what are all these standards you're trying to live up to? I'm like, who set them? You just gotta, you you just have to accept the fact that you are not perfect and that you cannot do everything perfect the right way the first time. But there's balance in it because my perfectionist mentality is what pushes me to make my projects better, which makes me a good, which it's, it's good good construction, good at art. It's good good to have that, but just don't let it disappoint you. But it's it's hard to do both. You know what I mean? How to have a perfectionist? Nothing's ever perfect, but you always strive for perfection. But you're nothing's, never reaching it. Nothing's ever perfect, but nothing's ever complete. Right. That's also true. So if you're someone who likes to complete things too and have a nice finish, you're always going to be looking at something like, "What more can I do to it?" Yeah, Eddie, stop! What in the Sam Hill are you doing? I precisely alphabetized those books for immediate reference. Alphabets are for soup. What's this? Joys of rules? Which that's where I've, I think the daily sketches has helped with drawing and stuff like that mm-hmm. because it's like... Just something small, something quick. I'm you something tomorrow. Knock it out, knock it out real quick and you can like add to it if you wanted to. Right, well, even if I'm not done with it, I guess a couple I've been doing the next day, but a lot of them, it's like, well, I got to do something new today. I got to do a new sketch. I got to do a new sketch. And so it's right. like, you got to do what you got to do. At the know? end of the day, it's just you cre- using your creative energy. Right. You're the one that fills in that, vo- that, but that blank. Right. But yeah. It's just not hold on to everything. Everything is not such a big deal. And like, that's the same thing with the projects that we give ourselves and the things that we build up in our head that we don't finish. It's just like, not everything's such a big deal. Thank you.